Welcome to the value add with me, Alex Pierce. Microsoft 365 Copilot is now generally available, but not to everybody. And there are certain requirements at this moment in time. And I think over the next couple of months, we'll start seeing more and more companies being able to access it, seeing it inside the public sector and hopefully inside of education as well. If there's an update to this video, you'll see it appear in the top corner right now. So please do click on that if you want to know the latest information. But otherwise, let's find out how you can get hold of Microsoft 365 Copilot today. I've put together some information here for you to be able to put together what you need from a Copilot license point of view. Now, this is what it stands for as as part of this general availability that released on the 1st of November 2023. So it may well have changed if you're watching this video from a later date point of view, kind of side of things. So at first, Microsoft have only released Copilot to enterprise agreement customers. So if you have an EA, an EAS, or an MCAE license, this is where you can actually now go off and have that conversation with your licensing providers around how you can get access to Microsoft 365 Copilot. Do remember that this is normally for 500 seats and above. This is Microsoft's requirement to be able to have an enterprise agreement. And with that, that is buying 500 seats of the Microsoft E3 license or above. So think about that's where you need to be at this moment in time if you want to be able to go off and do that. Things to bear in mind includes the fact that languages that are kind of coming out. Do actually Microsoft support all these languages that you want? Because at the moment in time, we've got English, Spanish, Japanese, French, German, Portuguese, Italian, and simplified. Chinese, but Excel will only support English at this moment in time. There is a 12 month commitment to your licenses and you must purchase 300 licenses. So that is a big commitment. If you figured out the mass, $30 per user per month for 300 users for 12 months works out to be around $120,000 for your first year worth of implementation. But do speak to your licensing providers. I'm sure they'll be able to give you a bit more accurate information around that. There are certain technology thresholds that we have to go through. We have to have Microsoft Loop enabled. We have to have the current version of the Microsoft apps, those installed versions of Office installed on your machine. So these, again, are key things. It's not just about kind of being there from a licensing point of view. It's about being there from a technology and an adoption point of view. Do you understand what Microsoft Loop is? Can you go off and implement this? Can you ensure that actually your, your staff, your workers understand that technology rather than just running away and using it? And there are also some recommendations from Microsoft around actually any device that's connected quicker to Microsoft's network will always run quicker. You get that speeds can come to you directly and that's going to be in some of the network protocols that we've got from Microsoft. So I hope you found this video useful. Please do like and subscribe. I am doing hands-on videos around what it looks like to play with Microsoft Copilot at this moment in time. And until then, I will speak to you soon. Thanks for tuning into the Value Add.